Tonight, a new clue already leading to dozens of new tips in the search for a killer. And tonight, the families of Libby German and Abby Williams are drawing new hope from this sketch. Up till now, we've heard the suspect's voice. We've seen a grainy photo with his head down. But up until this point, we never have gotten a glimpse of the killer's face. Our Emily Longnecker tonight is the plea from Libby and Abby's families about this piece of the puzzle that could finally bring them justice. Well, Ann and Scott, everywhere you look in Delphi, there are still big signs hanging up with Abby Williams and Libby German's picture on them, reminding people that their killer is still out there. And today, police released a sketch of what they believe that person looks like. You look at him, it puts a face to the guy. Mike and Becky Patty have studied the face over and over. This is a sketch of the man investigators say is a suspect in the murders of their granddaughter Libby and her friend Abby Williams. And that's one of the first things we asked when we saw this. You know, are you sure? You know, can you hang your hat on this? You know, uh, it, and they said yes. The Patties don't recognize the man in this picture. They're hoping, though, someone else somewhere will. Somebody out there will know that face. Somebody does. Somebody knows him. That's what Abby Williams' mom, Anna, thinks, too. Even after five months, Williams keeps telling herself, today is the day. Investigators find the person who killed her only child and Libby German. These things take time. This is a piece of the puzzle, and we're glad to get it. We're, we're just that much closer. Now we're getting closer to celebrating. Celebrating this being over and getting the start of the justice that we want. And for these still grieving families, an arrest will bring relief in knowing that this killer can't hurt anyone else. We need to get this guy off, you know person responsible for this off our streets before something happens to somebody else. And state police say since 4 this afternoon they've received more than 150 tips about that sketch. It is a picture that the families of Abby and Libby hope that people will take the time to look at and keep sharing. Scott? All right, Emily, thanks. And police have been telling us they've been working on this image for a while. And now that it's out there, detectives are even more energized about getting answers for these two families. Here's a side-by-side -side look of the suspect with that newly released sketch on the left and the photo that Libby took on her cell phone there on the right. Now, investigators say the killer is between 5'6 and 5'10 and weighs about 180 to 220 pounds. The man has reddish hair, reddish-brown hair, along with some facial hair, but they don't know his eye color. Police also tell us that the hat seen in the sketch may not be accurate, so they want people to focus on his facial features instead. Now, we've got this description posted for you tonight on WTHR.com. There's also a timeline of the investigation from the moment that Libby and Abby disappeared to today when that sketch came out. Investigators are stressing this is not a cold case, and they're actively following up on any potential leads. So if you know anything that could help authorities, call the tip line. You don't have to give your name. The number is right there on your screen. We've also got it posted on WTHR.com. And be sure to watch the Today Show tomorrow morning. They'll be sitting down with Libby's grandparents, who we just heard from a few moments ago. You can see that interview during the 7 a.m. hour, right after Eyewitness News Sunrise.